as an aerospace student, I have the opportunity to not just learn how to fly, but learn the science and history behind flight. Orville Wright was once credited with saying that the plane stays up because it doesn't have enough time to fall. Now this is an interesting quote because although the Wrights achieved flight, they never truly understood the physics of how flight occurred. My goal for you today is to learn how planes fly by having a better understanding of the four forces of flight, how lift is possible, and created. Let's start with the four forces of flight. These four forces are lift, thrust, drag, and weight. Lift is created by the wings and cause the plane to climb. Thrust is created by a power source and propel the plane forward. Weight is the gravitational pull on the plane towards the Earth's surface. And drag pushes the plane backwards as the air comes in contact with the plane's surface. These four forces interact in a variety of ways. For example, if lift becomes greater than weight, then the plane will climb. If the thrust becomes greater than the drag, then the plane will accelerate forward. Now that I've discussed the four forces of flight, I will share with you how lift is possible. Although the wings are designed specifically to create lift, the airflow over them and under them play a vital role. In 1738, it was discovered that air flow or speed and air pressure have an inverse relationship. In other words, as air speed increases, air pressure will decrease. On the flip side, if air speed decreases, then the air pressure will increase. This was discovered by a Swiss mathematician named Daniel Bernoulli. It is known today in the science world as Bernoulli's principle. Now that I've shared with you how lift is possible, I can show you how lift is created. I will do so by walking us through a short video. This is a profile view of an airplane wing in a wind tunnel. The lines you see are smoke being used to make the air visible. As the air approaches the wing, it will be directed, or divided, sorry, and the air on top will become faster as this camber causes it to. The air speed that on the, the air on top as it becomes faster will create a low pressure. The air on bottom will remain relatively unchanged in speed and pressure. As the air travels along the wing, it still increases in speed well after it's already passed the wing. As a follow-up, I would like to show a simple demonstration. This was once a hollowed out, this was once a pin that I just hollowed out. I will use it, my fingers to create a thrust to propel the pin forward. As the pin travels, it will start to spin. This spinning will cause the air on top to speed up and the air on bottom to slow down. This will create the pressure difference needed to make the pin lift. Now that I've got a chance to share with you the four forces of flight and how lift is possible and show you how lift is created, I hope the next time you find yourself buckled in an airplane, speeding down the runway, watching the ground get further and further away, that you remember how planes fly.